whatever stage of life that we're in, the fundamentals we're going to talk about will make a measurable difference for you, but you're going to have to decide what's right for you. So all I'm trying to tell you is, today, think of this as a second opinion. Think of this as the most important subject of your life, even though you may not have made it that way. Think of it as something that isn't a should, but a total what? A must to master, because if you master this, everything else you can dream of is available to you. And if you fail to master this, everything else goes to the wayside. I mean, I meet people all the time in relationships, and they want relationship therapy, and I, I say, you know what you gotta do? You gotta exercise, you gotta work out, you gotta lose some weight. You guys are just so tired, there couldn't possibly be any passion. When you're exhausted, there is no passion. And people say, okay, well, I'm gonna really work on a plan, and I'm gonna organize things, and I'm gonna find the best trainer, and you know, I come back, and I'm talking to them a week later, and they're still planning things. And this woman's telling me, no, but I'm gonna get the best trainer. I got the very best trainer to organize this. I said, ma'am, with all due respect, you don't need a plan, you need a trainer, you need somebody who gets behind you and just yells, run! <laughs> move! You don't need this long plan, you just gotta move. You know, we're living in a society where nobody moves anymore. What do we like today? How do people get injured today? They don't get injured smashing into people, playing football, anything else, they get injured typing, right? You know, picking up a pencil, oh, oh, they're really, oh. That's how people get hurt today because we don't use everything anymore. We live in a box. Think about it. Think about our lives today and how different it is than maybe the way we are formed to be made. To run, to hunt, to create, to procreate, to raise our children, to move, to farm, to do all the things that made us use all of our body. Today, what do we do? You wake up and you have this box life. You have a box breakfast, right? You get in your box car, you drive to your box office, you load up a box elevator. You don't use the stairs, of course. Right? You go to your box office where you type on a box, talk on a box, right? Go into a box room for meetings, right? Sure enough, got a little box you can type on, listen to, listen to music on, box. Have your box lunch, drive your box home or get in the train or subway and another box home. Get home to your box and then turn on the box. <laughs> type on a box, message on a box. I mean, and maybe go get a cylinder to change your state, right? You know, maybe. And most people's idea of exercise in our society today is fill the tub, pull the plug, and fight the current. <laughs> you know what I'm and that, that's the world we live in today. And so it's not hard to figure out why we're getting fat and why we're finally kind of tired and why we're building up acid in our system, consuming foods that have nothing alive in them anymore where everything is denurtured and everything is chemicalized or radiated. So it, it can feel overwhelming, but I think if we got back to our common sense and if we were really committed, we could make it all work. And what I'm trying to say to you is really simply this this morning. I'm gonna take the morning and not talk to you about how to do this. We're gonna figure out why to. Because 80% of success in anything is psychology and 20% is mechanics. It's the beliefs you have that are guiding your decisions. Listen, if you make a different decision, Will you take different actions, yes or no? Yes. If you take different actions, will you get different results, yes or no? Yes. So this day is about some new decisions. Some decisions about what you're gonna believe about health and energy, how important it's gonna be from you from now on. What's gonna be a must for you versus a should for you? Energy is a place that I've more than been, right? <laughs> And I want to make sure that you have even more. I want to make it so that it's as effortless as possible in the future so you're not burnt out from it. So this becomes a sustainable experience. How do you make it sustainable? Create the base. How do you make it sustainable? Challenge it. Once you've got a base, you challenge and grow. How do you do it? Then you've got to celebrate and reward yourself for making these great rewards. And that celebration enhances your base because you feel better and stronger and you want to do even more good things. You want to eat better. You want to play better. I mean, when you start working out and you start to get into it, you love it. You love it. And then your base gets even stronger, so you can take on a bigger challenge in life. And sure enough, you reward yourself and celebrate some more. And it becomes how the rich get richer, how the happy get happier, how the healthy get healthier, and the poor get poorer, and the depressed get more depressed, and the unhealthy get more unhealthy. It's momentum. Today is that process of momentum. My goal is for you today to have more certainty. Certainty that you have the answers that can guide you and that there will be challenges in your environment They're gonna be environmental challenges. They're gonna be all kinds of things you'll face But whatever it is you can handle it and I'm hoping that as a result of today You'll not only make a difference in yourself But you'll own this so much that you won't have to lecture anybody They'll come to you and go, oh God, you have so much more energy. You look so much better. You lost this. How'd you do it? And you'll be able to say, let me tell you 
and you will be a person who's a force for good that'll pass it on to the people. So my goal today is to plant seeds so that you not only get this, but this spreads to other people.